Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, episode 61. Yeah. Uh, so, tonight we are reviewing, oh my gosh, a movie <laughs> that like we really kind of just didn't want to go see, but we felt like we owed it to the world. Yeah, somebody had to see it, right? Yeah. To warn everyone else. Um, so anyway, uh, we're reviewing Stonewall. Hard time forget it. The poster for this movie looks like the bling ring. Yeah. It's yeah. like the tone. It does look like the bling ring. Is so con the, the tone of this movie. Well, so also I should mention that the entire movie looks like everyone's in the cast of Hair. Yes. And they all every scene looks like they're shooting on New York Street. Like it's the most musically. Well, yeah. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Like, it's really weird. It is really weird. So, let's step back, I guess. Oh, right. So, quickly, Stonewall is based on true events of uh, <laughs> the gay rights riots at the Stonewall Inn in New York City in 1969. Directed mm -hmm. by um, Roland, Roland Emmerich. Emmerich. Who's famous for such films like Independence, Independence Day, Day and The Day After Tomorrow. <laughs> such classics. Yes. I think he did White House Down. Mmm. Pretty sure. Um, so, this movie imagines, I'm gonna say. It chooses it, to focus on. It, well, it, it imagines if a young white boy from Indiana who... He's blonde, too. In the words of the director, is straight acting. Uh-huh. He's pa He passes as straight. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we imagine what it would be like if this young, straight-acting white boy was in the middle of the Stonewall riots as a friend to, you know, the people that were based off of factual characters. I mean, that's a pretty basic in for most movies. I mean, let's, let's sure. have a fish out of water who doesn't know what's going on, so everyone has to explain everything to him so the audience knows, whatever, da-da-da-da-da. But that was such a boring way to tell the story yes. and 40 minutes of the movie are dedicated to his like boring backstory in See, indiana you know what's funny though is that to me oh it's more interesting i was like this is the movie you should have and made, just make it about well because i think the thing is is that i mean he but grew like, up in germany it but be like about stonewall like, exactly. Like, let's make a movie about a young gay man in the 60s, like, trying to deal with what that means. And I mean, and that's his exactly. Movie. But then let's make a separate movie about, about Stonewall, Stonewall and the people that were actually there. I mean, for me, the worst part of the movie is the, like, dialogue. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, the script The biggest is thing terrible. is the script. Awful. Really bad. I don't think that whoever wrote it is gay. Or if he is, then he's young. It was like caricaturing. Yeah. Someone please tell this stinky sugar face fool that Judy's supposed to be tragic. Oh, he's a part of her beauty. And the Wizard of Oz man, she's just like us. A girl just lost in a world that don't understand her. Well, like, and you said when we were watching it, whoever wrote this movie seems to know as much about gay people as Joe Esterhaus and Paul Verhoeven know about women, if you've seen Showgirls. And that's what... And that was very accurate. It really... Be, like, I felt in this movie, like, the density of failure... Oh, yes. ...was approaching Showgirls levels. Yeah. My biggest complaint about the movie as a whole... Yeah. ...was that because nothing really felt like it was real life, then... I didn't care as much. The other thing that was confusing is that um, you hate all the characters. A little bit. <laughs> I didn't like because well, any none of them, them act like real people. No, and but they were all assholes. Like everyone was an asshole in a well, different way. Oh, oh, okay. Now this I can talk about, and this is weird to me because it's something I'm gonna put this down right here. Well, there's <laughs> gonna be some gestures. Not even. It's just I need to gesticulate. That's what gestures are. Well, but that, but whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> so, people are complaining about how this movie is, like, homophobic. There was, even in the film, like, you know, he's like, Oh, well, I could never love you. I mean, to say we're different doesn't even come close. And it's like, well, oh, you can't love well, them because... what did that mean? 
I don't know. Then you cannot love Ray at the end because uh, they are just too different. Danny, Judy just died. Judy who? God, man. To me, I was getting a lot of like, because I'm normal gay yes. and you're trans there gay. Was a lot That's of... different. Maybe it was like queer phobic would be the appropriate term, if I that guess. makes sense. Like it was like... He, he, like, he seemed to be like, I'm a better kind of gay. Exactly. Like, look at me, I'm the right kind of gay. If you came from a different planet, right, and you were introduced to, you like, you know, the world right. via this film, sure, you would think that gay men mm -hmm. are either transvestites or transsexuals or old creepy men that will like rape people. Lots of creepy repressed gay rapists. Lots. And it's just like, which I mean, I'm, I'm sure surely that is true, yeah. but a lot. A lot. Uh, it was literally one or the other. Mm -hmm. And then there was this boy from Indiana. Yeah, yeah. Wait, a but prostitute don't, don't forget about don't forget about um not Eric Stoltz that sat in the park with his dog, who seemed to oh, also right. be the perfect kind of gay. Yes, he also but then was, there was a also almost Eric Stoltz in this movie. There was that guy, and then there was the druggy almost Eric Stoltz guy who looked like he didn't bathe. That was like this red. Oh, I get for free. Yes. That was weird. That was weird. This is my problem. I knew a vague amount about Stonewall before seeing the movie. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I learned anything at all from this. Like, I don't even feel like I've, I've been educated on the subject. No. At all. Basically, they riot for 10 minutes in the movie, and then they go, everything's changed. We've got rights now. And I was like, no, you don't. You've all come together, and that's good, and maybe right. now in the future. But it seemed like all we needed to do was beat the shit out of some cops and set that building on fire, and now we've got all of our rights. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I didn't... <laughs> Did that make sense? <laughs> I mean, everything you just said, absolutely. The movie? <laughs> no. The problem with this movie is that I never at one point had a sense of gay pride. No. Even at the end... When you're supposed to, and be like, this is amazing, yay. You did it. Nope, I never did. This movie was terrible. Terrible. Like, it really was. It really was a piece of shit. It looked like a musical, but it seemed like a Lifetime movie. Yep. There was such just broad tonal shifts that it is a comedy. I, I laughed so hard in this movie that I, I cried. I did <laughs> That I was cr crying with laughter <laughs> because it was so fucking funny. So I wouldn't recommend this movie. I wouldn't. It was truly awful. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, maybe watch it f to make fun of it. I was gonna say maybe in five or ten years, like it'll become like a camp classic. A, yeah. It was pretty fucking campy. And pretty terrible. Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. so bad, maybe Ooh, it was good? Maybe. maybe. Mm. No. No.